Hello. Today, we're going to answer a very cool question. What is a vertebrate? Let's go. First of all, vertebrates are animals that have a backbone or spine. There are five groups of vertebrates. Let's meet them and learn about what makes each one special. There are mammals, birds, reptiles, fish and amphibians. Let's start with mammals. Mammals, like us, have hair or fur. They are warm-blooded, which means they can keep their bodies warm even when it's cold outside. Most mammals give birth to live babies and feed them milk produced by the mother's body. Mammals you might know as a pet include dogs, guinea pigs, cats, rats, hamsters, and rabbits. Now, let's talk about birds. Birds have feathers and wings. Many birds can fly, but not all of them. For example, penguins are too heavy and their bodies are made for swimming. Birds lay eggs with hard shells to protect their babies inside. All birds have beaks and they are a very special tool to help them with eating, cleaning their feathers, building nests and defending themselves. They are also warm-blooded, like mammals. Here are some birds you might know including the owl, robin, peacock, seagull and parrot. The third group of vertebrates is reptiles. Reptiles have scaly skin, like this iguana. Most reptiles lay soft-shelled eggs, on land, as they need to keep dry. But some snakes and lizards can give birth to alive young. Reptiles also breathe air through their lungs, so this means they cannot breathe underwater. Finally, reptiles are cold-blooded, which means they rely on their environment to keep warm. This is why we might see them sunbathing, like this lizard on the tree. Reptiles you might know include a crocodile, snake, tortoise or chameleon. Moving on, let's talk about amphibians. Amphibians have smooth, moist skin. When they are adults, amphibians can live both in water and on land. For example, this frog started off as a tadpole in water. Amphibians develop lungs so they can breathe oxygen. They are also cold-blooded, like reptiles, so rely on their environment for warmth. Some amphibians include frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders. The final group of vertebrates is fish. Fish live in water and have gills to breathe. The gills pick up oxygen from the water. They have scales covering their bodies to protect them. Instead of arms and legs, they have fins to help them swim and turn in the water. Fish are also cold-blooded, like reptiles and amphibians, so rely on their environment for warmth. Here are some fish you might know. We have the clownfish, shark, goldfish, stingray, and seahorse. So let's recap. A vertebrate is an animal with a backbone. There are five groups of vertebrates including mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and amphibians. Mammals have hair or fur, birds have feathers, reptiles have scaly skin, fish have scales and live in water, and finally amphibians have smooth, moist skin. Each group is special and unique in its own way. This table will help you see their different characteristics. Thanks for learning all about vertebrates with me today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.